Hello, my name is Pablo. I'm studying first high school in East Stockholm. And I'm going to show you how to do a visualino practice, specifically the number 8. Therefore, you will know how to operate a servo with a potentiometer. Firstly, we have to open the program called Visualino. There, we will create a code to copy it later in Tinkercad and thus be able to simulate the practice there. Now, we must to create two variables. And put here, in setup. The first variable called potentiometer. With an initial value of zero. The second one called degree. with an initial value of 0. Then the variable called potentiometer takes care of reading analogic read pin number 5. The variable degrees takes care of mapping variable potentiometer. Variable degree takes care of mapping the variable potentiometer from 0, 0,023 to 0, 180. Right here, 1,023. And here, 100. 80 because it's the maximum value of the servo. Now, if you want to look the variables, you can print them here in the block of communication and we select share print. We have to duplicate and select the tube variable potentiometer and variable degree. Finally, we have to click in the block called servo. Click here we put the pin number six for example degrees we have to select variable degree because it takes care of mapping the variable potentiometer and finally we have to delay for example two hundred milliseconds Now we have just finished 
to put the blocks in the correct order and thus we must copy the code and stick it in the next program called Tinkercad. Before copy the code we have to assemble the circuit. For that we need an Arduino and put the board and two important components which are servo and the potentiometer. If you want to turn a component you have to click here. Um, to connect the two components into Arduino and Portable, we have to connect the their wires. The signal wire must be connected in the pin six of Arduino. The power pin will be connected into the positive part of protoboard and the ground pin will be connected into a negative part of the protoboard. If you want to change the color of the wires, you have to click here and select for example this is a negative wire for black this is a positive wire red and this could be for example green the same happen in the potentiometer this pin will be connected in the analog, analog pin number 5 that pin will be connected to the negative part of the protoboard and this to the positive part. The same as servo. We can change the wires and if you want to connect Arduino and Protobar you have to connect 5 watts pin to the part to the positive part of protocol and the same with the GND pin five watts will be red and GND black and that's all the circuit if you want to simulate the practice you press code and then copy the code and start simulation if I turn the potentiometer the servo turn also I can control the servo with a potentiometer <laughs> 